Hello Guardians and welcome to Destiny Reset episode 176. This show is about anything and everything related to the Destiny franchise. If you love playing Destiny 2 as much as we do, you're in the right place. This reset we welcome I Am Cool Guy to the show as we talk about our thoughts on the Black Armory, what gear we're grinding for, and give some early reviews on Season 5 Pinnacle Weapons. Hello Guardians and welcome. It's Arrow Knight and of course Cyborg Sasquatch. How's it going, man? Hello. How are you? Welcome to Destiny Alcoholics Anonymous. What? Destiny Alcoholics Anonymous. Did I not like check your I'm Cyborg status? And I've been a <laughs> Destiny Holic for five years. Okay. You sometimes you don't warn me when you're gonna do Hello, these things. Hello, Cyborg. When we start the show. I need to do like a cyborg uh, mood check before we click record. Today we brought with us a special guest. First time to Destiny Holics Anonymous. <laughs> Would you like to introduce your friend, Arrow? Yes. Uh, super excited. We're, we're super excited to have him on the show. Guys, we have I Am Cool Guy. How's it going, dude? What's going on, man? I'm glad to be here. We're pumped to have you on the show. It's been a long time. Uh, coming, been in the works for a little bit, and uh, we're we're very excited to have you. How, how's everything going, dude? It's going really good. Going really, really good. And yourself? Yeah, yeah, doing great. We uh, uh we just clarified again that um you you don't live where I thought you did. I confused myself again, but we live like a couple hours from each other. Um, which is really <laughs> cool. We're gonna have to have some lunch sometime or something. Absolutely. Uh, of course. Cyborg, if if you could make it, dude, I know it's what, probably like a fifteen hour drive for you. We'd love to have you. Yep. Um, I'll I'll just I'll get right in on the car right now. I'll we'll try <laughs> we'll try to give you like a morning's notice so you yep. can make it maybe by I can dinner. Definitely make a fifteen hour drive in three hours. Sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well anyways. We're pumped to have you on, dude. You know, when we have someone on the show that's never been on or not been on for a while, we like to ask some questions, some serious questions and some goofy questions, if you're okay with that. Oh, yeah. Um, if you guys don't know, I Am Cool Guy has uh, primarily, I would say, your creation, creative avenue is your YouTube channel. You are, can we call you, I mean, you're, you're a PvP guardian, right? Like, I'm sure you enjoy PvE, but... Uh, um, your your content is mostly in the ways of uh, PvP lethality, right? Yeah, that's where I spend most of my time, man. I'm I'm 15,000 kills away from 100,000, so. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, okay. we're getting close. We're getting close. That That's my pinnacle reward for myself right there. It's a lot of guardian there tears. <laughs> that is, is a lot of guardian tears. You collect them all <laughs> in a bottle for power. <laughs> Oh, you're you're super powerful at this point. You play on Xbox, right? Are you still playing Xbox? I do. I do. I have yeah. a PlayStation, man. It just kind of collects dust, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm the opposite. Yeah, Cyborg's on. They're good for that. On Xbox. Yeah. My 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 Xbox has turned into a uh, a uh, Twitch and Netflix box. I would love for it to be more than that, but it may not be until we get cross save or something of that nature. Oh, wouldn't yeah. that be awesome? Every Guardian's yeah. hoping for that, man. It would be amazing. I would even boot up my Blizzard launcher, boot that because right? I'm not even playing Diablo on there because Diablo's on Switch now, right? Yeah. So, um, well, anyways, dude, we we got a few questions for you. If you don't mind, um, so everyone knows if you if you want to find Cool Guy, we'll throw this right at the top of the show so you don't have to wait till the end. Look for I am Cool Guy on YouTube. Some excellent uh, Destiny content, weapon reviews, all that good stuff, but. With that, why don't you, uh, if you don't mind, tell us a little bit about yourself, man. Sure. Um, my name's Austin. I go by Cool Guy. I am Cool Guy. All, all that fun stuff. I, I mostly do YouTube, man. Um, I'm trying to do Twitch. We're getting some stuff figured out with my computer to make sure I'm not skipping frames or missing anything. I do mm -hmm. love streaming when I do do it, but it's been difficult as of late. Hopefully after the first year, I'm going to be good doing that. But it's mostly YouTube, man. That, and I love doing it, first of all. Like, I love doing YouTube. Um, my stuff's mostly... Um, weapon reviews, like you said, PVP. Now, I'm decent at the game. I'm not like top tier. Um, but I'm all right. I mean, I, I do have a lot of tip videos, have things like that. I've, they've been well received. So, 
you have like a, I think I joked with you when we first started talking. Um, you have, well, one, you have a, a very excellent radio voice. And for whatever <laughs> reason, when you do your live comms, uh, people enjoy them I, partially uh, among many things, I think, because you, you're you always, it doesn't matter what engagement you're in during the live com. You just have a nice, cool, calm radio voice and you have this excellent way of, of telling everyone what is happening every moment. I mean, it's a live com, so hopefully that, I mean, that's an important part of it, but you do it very well. So I, I, I think people, not only do they like your reviews, but I think that's partially why uh, they love those live coms so much. You just, it's funny because I'm watching you and I'm like, man, that is a pretty heated engagement right there. And it's like, you never, you never <laughs> lose, like you, you never freak out. You just, you just say what's happening. And then you, even if you lose, that's the best part. Even if you lose the engagement while you're waiting to respawn in that short amount of time, you kind of explain and describe what happened and why you lost. And you're very constructive about it and you just work on getting better. Um, so that's, that's, I think probably what people enjoy about it. Very appreciate cool stuff. that, man. I, I kind of, I've, I've always kind of approached it like that, man. I don't really get tilted or upset. I mean, games are supposed to be fun, right? Like that's mm-hmm. the whole that, that's the whole thing behind gaming. And uh, I strive whatever game I'm playing, and I play a lot of Destiny. Is try to get better at it. And uh, you you learn from every single thing that happens in the game when you're in a Crucible match. It's one of those things. Nothing really plays out the same. There's human players on the other side, so it is kind of hectic at times. But you can learn from it. Very yep, definitely very cool. Well, with that, I mean, what um, what brought you to Destiny? Because you, I mean, you primarily do you only play Destiny? Do you play anything else? Um, I mean, what um, brought you to, to Destiny? Bungie brought me to Destiny. Yeah, man. Okay. I was a uh, Xbox and big Halo fan. Um, I, I've that was like the only game I played, man. Halo one, two, three, four, Reach. You name it. I mean, I played it. So they announced this game, like they had the trailer in fourteen. Of course, I was hyped, man, because Bungie, in my opinion, doesn't make you know or what am what am I looking for? The gun skill and the gunplay in a Bungie game, I feel is unrivaled, man. It's unmatched. The, mm-hmm. the way that you jump, the way everything just feels fantastic. So just the pedigree of Halo going into Destiny, it's kind of a first person shooter, open world type RPG type MMO. Destiny's kind of its own game. You know, it's been what, three or four years now. It's its own thing. Yep. And, uh, you know, Destiny to me is a game for different types of players, right? I mean, there's Borderlands players, Skyrim players. You know, they can still have that out there in the PvE world. There's the raids, there's the dungeons, and then of course the PvP area. And each side is very vocal, right? Don't touch our stuff, we won't touch your stuff. But most of the time, mm-hmm. when it gets touched, everybody <laughs> kind of, <laughs> everyone kind of uh, either suffers or benefits, if that makes sense. So I think they've done a, a really good job and they're constantly building. They've recently changed their model with this pass you know, compared to DLC and time's going to tell with that, but I'm, I'm enjoying it so far with the end game content. I mean, it, they're doing a really good yeah. job. Yeah, definitely. That was well said. It's, it's, uh, I like that. Don't touch your side. We want, <laughs> it's, it's, <good. laughs> it's always, it's it like has a tendency to truce, be, right. Yeah. They're, they're balancing the game because of the crucible. We, us crucible players get it sometimes. Um, but right now, more than ever, Cyborg, we're talking about that last week. It seems like they're, they're all in on that power fantasy. And, and, uh, if it's, if it's creating some powerful stuff in the crucible right now, they don't seem as concerned with it as they used to be. I'm all uh, about it being powerful, man. Break the yeah, game. Yeah. It's fun. Yep. Uh, yep. We agree. Um, well, Following off of that, then how? Wh- I mean, what brought you, or what made you want to create content? How did you get into con- content creation? That's kind of a, all right. Kind of a long story. I mean, playing you know Halo and Call of Duty, I helped my friends out, man, and I brought one one of my friends. Until this day, I mean, we've been playing for ten years. He was like a point four Call of Duty player, and now he's like well over a two KD player, right? So mm-hmm. it's one of those things. I felt like I could help people, so I used my Xbox, which has I forget what it's called, Upload Studio. And you kind of get gameplay and you have your little Turtle Beach microphone and you have to talk really fast for five minutes to get a, you know, a commentary <laughs> out. And, uh, you know, I put up some tech videos and things like that. And, re- and people really liked what I had to say, man. I got a lot of support with it and it was, it was very tough getting it out. And then it got noticed by Planet Destiny. And this is way back, like the Patrick Casey, yeah. like the original Planet Destiny, man. And I got picked up by them and that kind of pushed me to get the Elgato, get a computer to actually do editing, right? Cause I, I figured well, I was using like, Windows Movie Maker. I don't even know what I was using. Like when I, yeah. when I first started, it was horrible. So I started doing that, man. It just kind of picked up and picked up, and it's something I truly, truly enjoy. Yeah, that's cool, dude. Uh, it's and it's neat to 
to hear you start from the the console uploading and then make your way and just have the motivation and drive to to get to where you're at now at this point and um i know you were uh are you are you doing youtube full-time right now or is it kind of yes. a part-time thing yes. yes i thought so you'd done that just recently not too long ago right yeah just you recently man loop. it's been a blast it's been an absolute blast and for anyone out there listening that is you know getting into content creation, you can do it, all right? I'm telling you, you can do it because I've done it. So on your PlayStation, on your Xbox, you can get that going, make some commentaries, just put it up, man. And, and, and that's that's where you start. It can, it can be done, promise you. Very cool, yeah. It's all about consistency too, right? Like Cyborg yeah. and I, we try to get this show out every week people just when they when they like to hear from you they like to hear from you and of course you know people aren't upset if you have something come up but uh to to get new content out for people they i mean i know when when one of your videos pops up in my subscription feed i get excited so i'm sure that's your uh thousands of subscribers as well so very cool stuff it's it's neat to hear the story from start to current um so motivate people if they're thinking about doing it to dive in and make it happen um yeah very cool well we with that we like to ask we call it the derp lightning round um <laughs> we like to ask some random questions here some some random some make sense um but uh, cyborg do you want to want to yes. hit him with some of these Please tell us, what is your favorite class in Destiny 2 Forsaken? Gunslinger. Really? Mm -hmm. Still gunslinger. Yeah. Always a gunslinger, man. Right. The Spectral Blades are really <laughs> good, though. School. They're really, really good, but at heart, yeah. I'm always going to be the gunslinger. All right. Yeah. How about your favorite weapon? What's your favorite weapon right now? Ace of Spades. Oh, yeah. I love that gun. I need to get Especially on console, it right? Because it has the range <laughs> stat, has Memento Mori, has even further range because you have Outlaw, Reactor, Reload, Firefly. It's just really, really good. Yeah, that range stat's the one you can forget about. That thing, some crazy range, right? All right, so favorite Destiny character. Favorite Destiny character probably is still going to be Shax. I loved right. him in Destiny 1, love him now. What do you think about his new, uh, the new lore piece involving Shax oh my the dawn I'm not, not going to get into it <laughs> <laughs> I love it pretty man. good stuff pretty I good by it. the I by the writing it. team mm -hmm. if you don't know I won't spoil it go read it, <laughs> it involves him and a uh, relationship with a certain someone mm. yeah what is your what is your favorite game besides Destiny right now what else are you playing um, so I have a whole bunch of games downloaded. I have Red Dead. I haven't played any of them, man. I'm playing Destiny. The other two I play are going to be Black Ops 4 and Fortnite. Again, I mean, they're shooters. I'll play some games with my friends and wife. She plays a lot of Fortnite, so I'll jump in with them. But if not, it's going to be right back on Destiny. You going to yeah. play like uh, old school multiplayer in, in uh, Call of Duty or you going to play uh, Blackout? Oh, I've, I've played both. It's really, okay. really fun. Yeah, yeah I'm having Very that cool. problem right now as I, you know, I got into Red Dead and I wasn't sure about it at first, and I started playing some more. Really got into it, and since the Black Armory dropped, like, every night, I want to go be a cowboy. But there's so much to grind. Dude, I just it's can't real. Pull myself it away. is real. I'm at the same, like, I played Red Dead there for a couple weeks after it came out, and it's like, I... I very much the same thing you just said. I want to play that game. But every night when I log on, I'm like... Okay, I have a checklist that I'm working on yeah. every day that gets updated in Destiny. It's like if Dude, I log on to Red Dead, I'm not gonna get any of that done. There's so much to play in Destiny mm -hmm. right now. It's it's crazy, and it's crazy how much a full week uh, what's happened because you know as we kind of mentioned here just a minute ago, like some of the community was a little it was a little bit of a rough start when black armory launched with the power level and this or that and the the new content on the initial day or day after release and one week in after another forge drop the raid dropped all these secrets are coming about it's like i it's it, it's not even that it wasn't for me at, at any point last week but it's even more so now i'm happily overwhelmed like i just feel like there's so much to do right now yeah so much stuff to do mm -hmm. um that's a good thing, though. So we've got some two random questions here. I'm going to ask this one, and we'll give Cyborg the infamous pizza question. What uh, favorite chips, man? What's your favorite chips? Uh, baked Lay's Barbecue. Okay. Nice. Like KC Masterpiece? Oh, yeah. 
Okay. Got some Fair. of those. My son li- likes those right now. Got some in mm-hmm. the cabinet. And they're not going to last long. <laughs> Dude, we get like the, uh, we got Casey Masterpiece Lays for the longest time. And now those are like overflowing with flavor. It's su- they're super good. But we get, we get off brand barbecue chips now. I don't mm-hmm. know what it is about them. They're usually just like caked with amazing <laughs> barbecue flavor. I don't know why, but uh, it, it can be around here. We have like Jay's or Tom's or I don't know if it's just all guys first kind names. Like grocery what? stores, grocery store brands. Yes. Type things. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes there's mm-hmm. some hidden gems, man. Oh, yeah. Those but you can't go wrong stuff. with KC Masterpiece. Yeah. All right. Here's Very the cool. big one. The, the, the question that depends and decides if you will make it to the rest of the episode. Does pineapple <laughs> belong on pizza, cool guy? Oh, man. I like. I know like Gordon Ramsay wouldn't agree with me, but I'm going to tell you, if as long as there's also ham and hot sauce, then yes, it does. Wow. <laughs> ham and hot sauce? I haven't heard that. Fiery Hawaiian? Are you kidding me right now? Yeah, okay. Hawaiian. Not the Fire hot sauce part Hawaiian. of it, though. Yeah. Interesting. Very <laughs> interesting. Fascinating. But All see, right, well, let's go ahead and remove him out of the channel. Yeah, see, I can't right, do fun, that guys. texture. That's good. Um... You're a bad person. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, <laughs> hey, look, you know, we've got to mix it up and we we have to keep an open mind in today's society. So uh, we'll we'll try to understand you your ways and see if we can bridge the gap here tonight. <clears throat> we mentioned on every episode we have a new guest to ask this question. Are both of our wives like pineapple pizza? Yeah. We, We're married um, to traders. Cyborg. He he is not a fan still to this day. I don't really. I mean, it's we we tried it. Our community had us try it at Guardian Con a couple years ago, and let's just say neither one of us are ordering it on our own accord um, at any point, really. <laughs> so, um, not our favorite thing, but that's okay. It can be other people's favorites. The sweet and sweet and saucy flavor there yeah, fire hawaiian I, okay I, I hawaiian my wife likes she's not a big fan of spicy so i don't know if i can get her to try now some i'm wondering fire if, it, if it might go with like a uh like a what is the wing sauce that everybody likes like like hot hot sauce yeah like hot wing sauce i'm thinking about mm. like a, a wing pizza with pineapple yeah might have some opportunities might there. be onto something there all right do we have any announcements this week? I don't think so, other than keep being awesome, Guardians. Join yep. the Dirt Fam if you want to. Yep, don't That's forget it. to uh, get your Christmas shopping done. Yes. It's la- by the time you hear this, this is the last week. If you're not if you're not looking at it now, you're going to run out of time. Don't be that guy or gal at if the mall you have Amazon Prime, on Christmas you Eve. Have much longer for your two-day shipping. Yeah. And it's a miserable experience the final week. Oh, yeah. Get it done. Yeah, you don't want to do that. All right. How about some news, guys? Yeah. Sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. This week at Bungie, we began our celebration of the dawning. This year, the party is about more than just snowballs and Nova bombs. Eva Levante finally returns to the towers. Welcome back, Eva. Yes. Glad to see her again. And we get some cool cookie baking mechanics to go with it <laughs> that's what we were speculating on last week is do they mean we're actually going to be mixing ingredients we are mixing ingredients see so you can really master work f- the oven yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> did i see that it costs it, all it, less materials the, yes that's what it does yeah i was wondering yeah which word of the wise if you haven't done this yet you there's kind of a bug you got to make sure you, before you master work the oven, you got to make sure you make a burnt edges cookie. Oh, yes. Because if you make all the recipes and you don't make that one first, it will not let you master And that it. burnt edge yep. transits, that's just when you, tech, I mean, technically it does make that, but it's supposed to be like you didn't make a successful um, yeah. recipe, right? That was my first creation. Nice. <laughs> was one of and my that was the 20 yet. to follow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I cheated. I pulled the recipes off the internet. I did too. Yep. It's a cool mechanic, but it it ultimately, like, I was talking with some friends about this last night. Like, ultimately, this is just another version of 
fetch questing, right? So like, mm-hmm. go out, play the game, acquire things, make them, then bring them to the vendors. Only this year, you just get a bunch of trash as rewards <laughs> instead of useful things. I, I literally got the I, out of twelve vendors, I got one piece of useful gear. I got a few things, but in my last couple recipe present deliveries, I did just get some blues. Um, All I got was blues. The first one I brought yeah. to Zavala, I got the uh, avalanche. Yeah, I got another. That's the new heavy, right? Yeah. Um, I got another one of those from Failsafe when I delivered my present to Failsafe. She um, must like you more than me. It's such yes. a shame how it's acting, man. They are fixing it, so... It's recoil direction is way off. And I thought it was pretty cool that Suros has a machine gun, first of all. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. It's cool. And I, I really hope they explore some of those weird, like the things that you would never see, you know, with, with the gun makers. Like if Vice made a nice hand cannon, like a 110, I yeah. think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Definitely. See a Vice bow. We don't have a Vice bow, uh, do we? Uh, we have. Is it Vice? I can't remember for sure. I don't think. What it's I was nice. excited for with the dawning uh, when I first saw, like you know, you deliver it to failsafe. You deliver it like what I thought was really cool is we've never really gone back to the NPCs. Like I like Devon K. Like I like all that dialogue from all the planets, mm-hmm. and I thought maybe it was going to be a little bit more than that. Like there would be something there on the planet, but really you just delivered. I wish they would have explored that a little bit more. If that makes sense. Yeah. Like I, I like I was like honestly I was straight up excited that you're going to go talk to Asher Mir, failsafe, and then maybe we can get something going, but. And on it, yeah. I've, I've, I've turned in nine so far, eight, eight or nine. I haven't gotten anything yet, so. Oh wow, feels yeah, bad. I've, man. I've gotten, I've probably turned in six to eight, and just gotten two blues out of that. The rest have been legendary, or I got, like I said, I got one avalanche. Um, I tell you one thing that they're they're getting right with these past several events is the Eververse area. I love that they just doubled down on our. Um, bright slash seasonal um, event ingrams and stuff. That's fantastic. You just feel like you're getting loaded. Yeah, and the Matrix is one of those stuff. things, if I see an emote that I really, really want, mm-hmm. I've gotten it most of the time. I'd say like 90% of the time so far since they've added the Matrix. Yeah. and yeah, That happened loophole just for me with the uh, nothing's wrong. That's I, I only had in the new season, of course, I had like one or two of the things in the Matrix um, I guess it was last reset. Uh, and I was like, please come on matrix. I do. I do like that system. Um, and I, I hit it and I got the one thing I definitely wanted. And have you guys noticed though, and maybe this is just me it, it being things that I've wanted that just happen to be sold. But it, I feel like several of the things that I've wanted in the matrix that maybe I didn't get seem like they're always on sale the next week. <laughs> is that just me getting lucky that the thing I want is on sale for direct purchase with Bright Dust the next week, or is yeah, that I don't think like that a, there's like a direct correlation. They just have featured stuff the that they're week. selling, yeah. you know. Yeah, um, I've just noticed like probably I don't know four or five different times now that it'll be up whatever emote it is or ornament. It seems like maybe I'm just getting lucky and it just happens to be the one I want is up for sale for Bright mm-hmm. Dust at the following reset, um, but. Anyways, yeah, yeah. Prismatic I did Matrix buy, is um, good for me. I did throw down some silver and buy that cool baking cookie demote. Oh, yeah. yeah. I had to. I mean, inside knowledge, my wife Ooh. operates a cookie baking business, so <laughs> this... You're, you're in the know? I, yeah, there's a lot of cookie talk around my house. I feel like I'm just <laughs> surrounded on all sides at this point between Destiny and my home, smelling like... <laughs> vanilla and butter constantly like no complaints there i'm just feel like i'm inhaling calories as we speak but, <laughs> um but i i showed it to her and she like got a pretty good laugh out of the the emote i was like i have to get this this is awesome that's great yeah dude the uh the emotes are so good like even i i just love them all like it they they work so well for everything if i go into blind well and i'm waiting i just sit down and have a nice little drink and just sit there and wait. <laughs> Somebody will come up and throw a he chair up next year, to me. Definitely on point with all the memes yes. and just everything. The high five. Yeah. Oh yes. man! But so we got to talk about. Emote. Yeah, we got to talk about the do the the co op emotes. Um, I got the high five. I, I want chest bump a lot and fist bump, but you know what I really like is how you you don't have to have it if somebody else does. Mm-hmm. So. 
if you just go up to them, if even if you don't have it, you just press X and you get to do it with them. I thought that was cool because I was a, I, I was thinking that. you that had cool. to have it both both have it. You know. Okay, I didn't even know that. Still to this point, that's that is yeah. really neat. Then yeah, somebody yeah. I saw a post on Reddit. Somebody said, uh, I guess maybe they thought you did need to have it. They said. Or maybe they just were saying if no one ever comes up and gives you a high five after so long, you should just give yourself a high five. <laughs> I was like, that's excellent. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, or you should just be like, oh man, just kind of like. And then afterwards, yeah. it says, you know, Arrow Knight is left hanging. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. That's great. That'd be so good. I saw another post this week too. I have to mention to you guys. I'm sure you saw it. Um, sorry, I, I need to start writing down these names of these users when I when I see them. But uh, it was joking about his wife getting home and uh, asking if he was having fun killing aliens or something. And he said, "Yeah, I've been doing that, and I've also been baking cookies." And she just like looked at him funny and left the room. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that is excellent. That's so good. That makes sense. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll come up when we get to the movie of the week. We can talk more about. Uh high fives and and all that because somebody had a funny movie the week up there or a, a, yeah. an honorable mention at least um but yeah donning's in full swing that's going down um i did unlock the cool new donning sparrow and oh um, nice yeah i just figured this out tonight too it's kind of confusing because the perks on the sparrow are supposed to be that you um you get like a glimmer trail when you're boosting and a little glimmer presents fall out, and then you get more when you um, do tricks. And I think there's another one. And s- some friends and I were noticing like that that it was not working. And I was looking through the triumphs, and it actually says in the triumphs that there's you have to repair the sparrow. Yes. And, and it, there's nothing else in the game though that's like leading you to realize that there's something wrong with the sparrow, like that it's not complete. Once it goes into your inventory, but if you preview it, you'll notice that the perks are not unlocked for those. So there's, it seems like there's going to be some uh, bounties or quests or something that will allow you to to finish unlocking the spirit. I'll have hmm. to check. One of my friends does. Have, he's dropping presents. It gives like one glimmer, like real talk, one glimmer. So <laughs> okay, maybe it's like not even worth it to go back. Need to go for back it. to. Um, Eva and see if there's something I could pick up. I haven't had anything to pick up that will allow me to fix it yet, so I don't know what's It's up. a super cool speeder, though. Have you done any tricks with it? <laughs> I have not. It's pretty cool. I did notice that I can't... You cannot side boost with it. Yeah. Which I didn't like. I didn't care for that much, because I do that a lot. Cause I'm super it was hard fancy. for me to go back to... a. Uh... Uh, what are they? What's the instant part? summon? Yes, that should be I, inherent on all of them. Every one of them, because I I had a sparrow that I liked that had that, and I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna go back. But then I got the Tron ish looking sparrow, and I really like it, but it doesn't uh-huh. have that. And you can rock a ghost that has that perk, but I don't really want to do that either. So yeah, I'm back to holding square for a little while to yeah summon my sparrow. You're like oh cool, if I jump on it, it'll reload my weapon, and, <laughs> yeah. but I'm gonna get off of it <laughs> i don't then, I, I don't know and then okay i have to mention this uh, hopefully this isn't just me i think this might be all guardians when you're rolling up to a public event and you jump off your sparrow and you go to to hit the flag to get all your your stuff loaded back up and you accidentally jump back on your sparrow that's Ooh, all yeah. the time anything Classic. can we can and we get that- a sparrow that when you dismount it just automatically implodes <laughs> like I want that as right a to do perk. damage and firefly. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Like sparrow self, like just call it like self destruct. Like sparrow self destructs upon dismount. Isn't so there you, a perk now to where you take less damage when riding on the sparrow? Yes, it's, that's the raid one. I think. Well, right? it's not yeah, less so, damage. You do less aggro, basically. Oh, uh, okay. Like the well, enemies yeah, so, are less likely to shoot, shoot at, at you. you. We were talking about the other day, man. Like, I, I swear I could run through 100 enemies, and I will survive. But if I get on my Sparrow, I'll be down in two seconds. Oh, my like, gosh. Like, ha- so have you done any of the new raid yet? Not the new raid. Prepare for rage. If you think that that <laughs> bothers you now. Well, oh, fortunately, I can reload wait. my weapon when I get on and off of it, so we'll be all right. <laughs> There's, 
<laughs> sections in which you would like to use your Sparrow in which you should not because of that. And there's sections in which you will have to use your Sparrow and you will regret the fact that that is a thing in this game. It, uh, there are not, I, I, I hate when people, I'm, I'm going to walk a fine line here. I really hate when people call for people's jobs because of things in games. Uh, it's completely unnecessary. There's no fine line. You're good. Keep going. <laughs> but I'm I'm like totally like who is the man responsible for sparrow tuning? I have a harsh word for him. <laughs> it was very yeah. rage. Yeah, there, I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I I don't think as as far as developers like you're saying. I, I mean, I don't think you know. I I've seen people recently saying you know calling for people's jobs. I don't. Yeah. I'm not a fan of that at all. No, I never it is say pretty that. crazy. I'm, it's pretty crazy. I'm not a fan of that at all. That is funny, though. The severity here, of Cyborg's aggravation with <laughs> uh, sparrows exploding. Yeah, it'll, it'll upset you a little bit. But good luck when you get there. They, they really got to do something about sparrow health. I, I don't know. I can't comprehend why it's that way. But moving on in back into the news. Uh They've got some ongoing issues of Black Armory that they want to um, discuss and give an update on. So, Scourge of the Past, uh, there were some issues they're investigating with the 24-hour completion. Players who completed Scourge of the Past within the first 24 hours um, not being properly rewarded the Scourge of Nothing emblem. So, they're working on that. Um once addressed, players will be properly credited and receive appropriate rewards. Uh, there's also an ongoing issue with revive tokens. Uh, this kind of goes back to like the Leviathan days, but there's an issue in the game where sometimes revive tokens are not removed appropriately when you re revive a teammate. And it, it seemed that they had solved this quite a while ago, but it, it has reared its ugly head again. And seems to be happening more in Scourge of the Past, so they're asking if you see this happen um, to please post a report to the help forum. Um, I can't see people doing that but because <laughs> it gives them an advantage, but, uh, you know, it shouldn't function that way. Hopefully they'll sort it out. Um, and another big one is with uh, weapon frames in the Black Armory. There's an issue where if you are carrying more than one legendary weapon frame in your inventory um completing one can make the other one disappear so they are investigating that they're recommending that you only hold one weapon frame at a time from a specific forge in your inventory um other ones include high value targets uh to unlock the gofanon forge you have to defeat a high value target on nessus and currently it only awards to the player who lands the finishing blow. So they're developing a fix for that. And finally, an issue with ballistic logs and modulus reports not recovering to Postmaster. However, they're not going to land a fix on that till January. So make sure you've got space in your inventory for those items. Dude, I had to tweet out this week. That reminded me. Something else reminded me this week. Do you remember a time way back when nothing you left behind? By accident. Oh, yeah. To your postmaster. Yeah. <laughs> Way oh, back man. in the day. Uh, it just stayed where it was, even mm -hmm. if it was legendary or exotic. Yep. Scary times. We kept oh, a yeah. lot less back then, you know? Oh, yeah. We mm -hmm. just couldn't, I had just somebody, couldn't hoard stuff. <laughs> I had somebody tweet at me. Uh, well, one, they reminded me that we only had five bounty slots. I remember that was, that was interesting. <laughs> and then the image of like the OG vault where we had like 20 slots, maybe? What was, was it 20? Or 20? It might have been less. Those hard yeah. decisions were made back in the day. Oh Can gosh. you imagine? We have 500 right now, and I think because I need to go through again, I'm sitting at like 498 or something. We, we, we had, to, man. We had 20 harder. or less, and we were still keeping dupes of exotics for other yeah. inventory yeah. slots. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I had an icebreaker on every character still. Like, yep. Man, there was not much variety going on there. If we could just go back for one evening and watch us play the state of the game then, no, that I'm, would be... I'm good. That would be we so We have a much better game, to their credit, <laughs> now than we did then. Um, 
Okay, next up we get a preview on the 2.1.3 patch. Now there's a bunch of different things they're planning to do here, but some of the highlights uh, that you should know. Uh, players under 600 power will begin to receive higher powered rewards when completing director challenges. So it seems like they're kind of raising that soft cap a little bit if you're under 600 to help pe move people along. I think that's a good idea. I think that that's ideal. You know, mm -hmm. it's kind of on par with what we had seen maybe in Destiny One, uh, with kind of power climbs and stuff. I don't know. What do you what do you think about that, cool guy? So there's a couple things. Uh, maybe especially for those players, I mean, I would like they say under six hundred will receive a little bit of a bump, like okay. I have a lot of hours into Destiny right now. There's a class that I don't really play, it's Titan. He probably has 17 total minutes played. Mm -hmm. um, and, well, and who knows? I'm, I might be one of the best Titans the game has ever seen. Just, I don't know. <laughs> I've just never really played the, game, uh, the, the, the subclass. But for me, like I did the power level to 30. So it would be nice for someone that's just starting the game that wants to get in these new activities. I mean, I'm going to grind it out eventually. But, you know, just have a set 600 reward, right, to get a big bump if they're down like where I am in the 320s, if, if that makes sense. Mm. Now, they said they're going to up the frequency. That way, they can get up a little bit more to 600, and then it's going to kind of taper off. But that's I think it's an excellent plan. Yeah, I think, you know, as the, as the bar is raised every season or what have you that the plan is, uh, it makes sense for me for the for the soft cap to get raised. So if you if you get left behind, you can actually catch up a little quicker so you can play the content that's new, right? I think that's really what this is about is um, not making it easy on everybody, but just continuing to keep things accessible to an extent, at least get you on a level playing field. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense to me. I think it's good. Yeah. Uh, they're fixing that issue where you could not get the Harbinger's Echo Sparrow when destroying all Ahamkara eggs in the Dreaming City. Um... Some other things where, with the weapon frames being removed from different forges, problem with 1,000 voices on PC, and etc. That thing does a lot of damage. I don't know if you guys have seen it with high frames. Yeah. It's insane. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, it's interesting how they have uh, had these issues with how frame rate affects damage. Mm -hmm. with different with different weapons and you know it's tricky um uh, balancing pc and console now you know there's a lot i think they have to consider um and how things work as well you know in the game probably plays into that a lot so uh in the meantime enjoy that thousand voices until next week or whenever this pops <laughs> i still don't have it <clears throat> still trying still haven't got it i think i'm like 15 20 clears in still wow. can't get it to drop one day soon. one day i know people who did a lot more to get it to drop so i'm not complaining too hard yet vex uh, days all over again but you know what yeah. it's as much as you want it it's still like kind of cool that old school it's destiny you know it's like when you get it it's gonna be very when i get it it'll be exciting. awesome <laughs> and i will crush everyone's hopes and dreams that thing in gambit is so ridiculously broken and if everyone had it it would be the it would Craziness. be worse than sleeper it, it's <laughs> it is insane what you could do a game with that gun um holiday calendar we've got an update on what we can expect through the end of the year uh we've got another week of mayhem next week and then following that between the 25th and january 1st we get iron banner and increased valor lord mm -hmm. saladin's returning with a power enabled combat of the iron banner. We've got new armor for season five and two year one weapons returning with random rolls. It's like, we've got the, uh, SMG and the hand cannon to look forward to. And criminal dagger heroes burden. Yeah. I'm hoping we get some potent vendor rolls on those. I know, uh, the first round I was super pumped about, um, the pulse and the sniper, uh, they seemed like they were dropping more potent rolls. The the last Iron Banner we had, I don't, 
Do you remember Cool Guy? Were they? I didn't feel like they were as potent of roles. I think that there was a clause that was Outlaw Reactive or Outlaw. I'm always calling it Reactive Reload because it's Destiny One. Yeah, but it's Kill Clip. I think it was Outlaw yeah, Kill Clip. That was the first. I was I grinded for that and the Sniper because they both. I think that was the first time Iron Banner came back. Um, the I Snake. I forget what it's called. Snake Bite. Yeah, something, something I'm like hoping. That. I'm hoping these two have uh, some pretty. It's pretty looking stock, like uh, Crimmel's. Uh, if I remember from the collection, it's going to be Outlaws in Moment. Okay. Nice. Okay. Well, at least we can always chase the random rolls as well. It's nice to have that back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, worth mentioning as well, uh, as they did at the end of Season 4, powerful rewards and unlocking rewards for direct purchase will work the same. Uh, double, double Valor will run from... December 25th through December 28th with Triple Valor from the 28th through the 1st, which is the weekend, I believe. So enjoy that Iron Banner if you if you need some PvP gears. Yes. You, and you still uh, have the, if you still have the Redrix bounty. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yep, definitely. Yes. I need the, I'm going to need the powerful rewards, man. I'm so pumped that, that uh, they changed that last season. So I'm going to be grinding to get my Titans power up as well. So very cool. Absolutely. Over in Destiny Player Support, we deployed update 2.1.2. Um, there was some crazy stuff going on when that launched on Tuesday. Lots of errors, uh, mm-hmm. lots of things working strangely. Seems that they've, I don't know, have they gotten everything? But I've, I heard talk that there were some perks not working properly after the update and some other weird stuff. Have you guys heard anything else about that? I have not. The one thing, I think they kind of mentioned at the beginning of the 12, sorry, I don't think we said they, uh, did you guys see that the Eververse stuff was um, like up the night before? Oh, yeah, so yeah. I did. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah that was pretty random. The dawning well. stuff. That was part of it. Yeah, sorry, I said Eververse. Yeah, the dawning stuff. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was, I didn't know if they, they kind of make a tease about it, I think at the beginning of the twa, but I didn't know if that was also referring to these hiccups in this uh, section as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice like, to know that they get their patches to Microsoft and Sony all of them quickly. I mean, yes. Yeah. That, that's nice to know, <laughs> especially if they're going to be updating weekly. Right. It's GG Bungie. Good job. Um, we've got 2.1.3 on Tuesday, December 18th scheduled to go live. Um, Let's see what else. There were some errors with a regional ISP that caused disruptions for players. Um, They believe they have that solved. And then finally, some problems with Eva in the Dawning. Um, You should know that all of your player inventory that includes uh, Dawning ingredients will be removed from your stuff January 1st when that ends. (laughs) Uh, we talked about the Burnt Edge Transit cookies already. Uh, you've got to claim your triumphs before the event ends if they have been unlocked. So be sure to go and go into that node and claim them. I know sometimes we forget. And then um, what else? Some stuff with the Dawning Cheer Sparrow. You can only pick up Glimmer from it if you've completed the Dawning Milestone for Eva. All right. Then we've got a few issues with uh, Season of Forge, known issues with Legend Rank, 1,000 Voices, Dunking Relics on high frame PCs can do some wacky stuff. And then it's frame rates are really causing problems. And then on to the movie of the week, which we get like four different movies. Did you guys check this content out? I've checked out a couple of them. Three player scourge of the past completion makes me realize I suck at this game. <laughs> um. The seventh column with the chaperone was pretty ridiculous. This guy, and, and granted, it seems like the guy was just running across a team of guardians who were just, it seemed like their first time in the crucible, <laughs> but <laughs> it was awesome. He's definitely good with the gun. Uh, we talked, and I brought up earlier the, so the, the next runner up is, uh, high five me friend. This was basically me the past three days. Like every activity I go in, I just go to the launch and I just throw up the high five and nobody (laughs) seems to understand what's supposed to happen. This is the three minutes of this guy trying to get people to high five him in different activities. 
It was pretty funny. That's um, good. but then he kind of gets obnoxious and he's like shooting people while they're trying to do public events. I'm like, come <laughs> on, man, what do you, let's high five you right now. At least wait till the public events over. Yeah. But I think we brought this up before the show, this, uh, Tatara gaze with kill clip. Did you guys check Oof. that out? Yeah. I, oh I know gosh. of this gun and this role. Yes. It's, uh, it's a little bit dangerous so he, he i know the scope isn't uh isn't some people's favorite that's a little bit higher zoom or more of a zoom um yeah. but you've got to do a little trickery too like obviously you don't want any to, to be able to proc kill clip you got to do a little bit of strat- strategizing because you don't want a um a high mag you don't want any perks that are increasing that magazine size right um because you want to be able to reload but uh it's it can body shot is the whole point, correct? Yeah, you, with kill yeah. clip body shot a Titan and hammers with kill clip on. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, I haven't watched this this one yet. That's Pretty wow. Nasty. In super. Okay. Yep. Wow. Yep. Check what it is out. it? Kill clips like a what is it? Cool guy like thirty percent increase. Yeah, like like right under thirty three percent. Thirty three. Yeah. Just wow. Enough I didn't think it could body out a super. And that what the Tatari gaze. Man, I was I was one of the ones that got held up by the frame, so I had it. I was ready to roll, and um, I also had the AR frame. Well, it dropped the AR frame, deleted my sniper frame, so I had to get on my other character, oh, grind no. all of Black Armory. And oh, I get the Satara gaze, man, and the range stat on it's huge, right? It's a high-impact sniper. It's like at 95 on the stat. It's almost at the end. That's Mine drops with do. range masterwork, range finder, and opening shot. <laughs> it's the most bizarre sniper <laughs> rifle I've ever used because it actually what? zooms in a little bit more on top of this already insane zoom. It feels crispy though, man, because opening shot increases your range even more. It's, oh, that, it's, it's nuts. With that range stat that high, like it's got to have almost like a max aim assist, like stick it to nuts. It. Yeah. Like, that's awesome. Yeah. There's what, what I've found really interesting about uh, Black Armory and stuff so far is like how how much they've opened up as far as perk availability and like what can drop on certain guns. And it feels like they've really not only bent, but broke some of the rules of what you would expect out of some guns. But I think it's, yeah, it's cool. Like it's fun that you can get guns with just some OP perks on it that they're situational. I mean, we're not, we're not talking about opening shot or what was it called? Uh, uh, the one from Destiny. Final round. Final round, yeah. We're not talking about <laughs> yeah. final round territory, but not far from it, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I, 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 I like, the, yeah, it's like you said, very, it's very situational. You got to strategize a bit to, like, take advantage of it. And some things kind of have to go your way, um, but it's still, it does kind of spice it up a little bit that uh, it's it's even a thing, right? Yeah. I get that. And it gives you something to work for, too. Like that new hand cannon's rampage kill clip. That's its role. Yeah, That's just dude. nuts. Yeah. Well, That's I ended crazy. up with the uh, with the raid, the last wish scout with rampage and kill clip. Yes, the transfiguration. Mm. Yep, Buddy of mine has it. I want it so bad. I got it, man. You can. I have Xbox. Is it good? You can try it if you want to. It's well. We should play sometime, man. Good. Yeah, we should. <laughs> I'm terrible at PvP. If you want to play PVE, I doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll be around. Well, we'll do it all, man. Okay. Good, good, good. All these mods too are, are spicing everything up. Like the rampage sure mod, are. giving you an extra second. Um, yeah, I just uh, got that to drop actually this evening, and I'm excited to try it out. Yeah, dude, it's just there's that. There's a we're talking mod. about all. Yeah, that's right. Yep, we're talking about all this stuff of like there's just so much to do in the game, and when I say there's so much to do, I'm not even talking yet about like builds and yeah, stuff this to or get that and all, to right i'm just out. talking about i have things actual activities i still yeah. need to complete um i like that they're giving people cool. different things to chase um mm-hmm. and some fun stuff to try to get your hands on you know yeah i think Definitely. with um black armory like the forges so far that we have access to like they're fun and but they're also just bite size enough that i could see grinding them for certain weapons you know if you're trying to get a roll on a mm-hmm. certain yeah. tatara or the hand can or whatever you're into like they're they're manageable enough that like it's not going to take you an hour to run a forge right mm-hmm. like we're talking about 10 yeah. minutes you can knock one out and yeah it. and you can match make yeah 
Yeah, that's a good part of it too. And the way that they've introduced them too, like I've always mentioned, I I want like a horde mode that carries across expansions and now the way that the content, content is dished out seasons. And it seems like, because at one point they referred to the forges or their, their new activities in general, they're not just making them, trying not to make them like one-off expansion type things they want to be able to continue to build on them and that's what the forge seems like right they they can introduce a new forge at any point and they're like you said cyborg you just there's such a good way that they're built you can just go grind for this particular weapon you might want to try to get the role you want and there's like endless replayability there yeah um, and that's all over the game now so, I'm excited to cool. see the other forges too because there's going to be a lot of different options there as far as and then the exotic weapons from each forge yes. too. Yeah, like yeah, where, where are those even going to come in? Like we haven't mm-hmm. even well, we yeah, not from the forges specifically, we haven't even seen those yet. So I'm interested yep. to see like is there something we're missing or is it a, a time gated thing? I don't know. We'll find out. And it's it's like they they. With Vanilla Destiny 2, we, we, I guess we a lot of the community wasn't feeling this way, but now it's like they need to succeed in making us, even if it's just we think we are, we're overwhelmed with stuff to do. And I like I definitely happily feel that way. And it's like, I'm totally fine with that. Like, I have so much to do. If I don't get to some of it, that's okay. <laughs> It'll be fine. Did um, you guys farm the Grasp of Malak in Destiny 1? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. So that's why I kind of like this frame system, because this week it's the hand cannon and I believe it's the sniper uh, or, or AR. But it's it's essentially the same thing, but you're guaranteed a drop, right? You just get the materials, you farm the weapon just over right. and over. I've done it like right. six times. Yep. I like that. I, it. I cool. like it, too. It's uh, it's play at your own pace, grind as much as you want, but also incentive to do it. Right. Yeah. So it's yeah, I like it, too. I'm hope I am hoping that at a certain point, like so, it seems like so far, at least from what we can tell, like this week we have access to two specific guns, right? That we can farm. Like I, I hope at a certain point, like maybe after they've been through a whole rotation or something, like that you can just grab whatever you want and go do what yeah. you want. Because if we're getting two to four weapons per um forge like that's a lot to rotate through if you're only having like two available per week so hopefully that's just kind of how they rolled out to start and then maybe after they've done that with each forge like they'll just have the full list and you can pick what you want and just go try to get rolls because i could see like I can see it turning quickly into like the old arms day where you wait like two months for that DIS 43 <laughs> to pop up again, oh, right? Dude. You know, <laughs> that 47 I waited m- months for. Yeah, dude. My like, buddy and I. Th- I don't know. Yeah. They, they can do a better job curating it. And I think they know that. So, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll talk some more about Forge, I'm sure, coming up here. But to wrap up the TWAB, uh, shout out to Anodyne. If you don't know Anodyne, she's an artist, but also a really skilled Destiny player. I've played with her. She is uh, actually in a relationship with our buddy old Fallout Plays and mm-hmm. pretty talented Guardian herself. Her and Fallout brought me to the lighthouse back in the old uh, spooky trials oh, nice. days. <laughs> um, she's better than me, that's for sure. But she had an awesome illustration of her Titan with uh, Eva Levante in like a dawning sweater. It's awesome, dude. I loved it. Yeah, it's it's so good. I yeah, like that is. they put that um, on the end of the twab. Do they should do that every week? Like, mm-hmm. just pick one piece of art from the community every week and like put it at the end of the twab. It'd be awesome. I agree. There's so much great Destiny art out there. There's a ton, dude. I, sometimes enough. I just I did it this week. I just browsed the Destiny Two hashtag, and you come across so much art from the mm-hmm. community. There was there was a Saint fourteen Titan illustration. Um, Ooh, it was just so nice. amazing, dude. Uh, yeah, if you just browse the hashtag, it's it's unreal the talent that's out there in the the artist community of of Destiny. Definitely. Very cool. Well, that's this week at Bungie. Uh, in other news, there was a community focus this week with Cami Cakes, very talented oh, Cammy. PvP yeah. guardian that you should definitely go check out. Uh, Dude, go, he is crazy. Yeah, he does some <laughs> cool stuff. His, his, his thing—he's got like a crazy setup with his. He plays on PC, 
And unless he's changed it, the last I saw like his setup, he I forget what it is he even uses, what peripheral, but it's it is absolutely insane, like the macros and the different things and the key bindings that he has set up. But uh yeah, he's a beast. I, I met him at the the summit and uh he's I love his not only do I love his live commentaries, but I love his thumbnails. Mm-hmm. You see his th- like they're the most random, like usually hilarious uh hilariously put together thumbnails for his youtube videos um but yeah super skillful pvp player yes he is yeah he's uh he's kind of becoming known for just being able to dominate with any loadout Mm -hmm. which reminds me a lot of not saying that like this isn't a cool original thing that he's doing but tv used to be known like for just going in and basically just dusting off something non-meta and going in just and owning it, yeah. with it and that's that's when you really know like guys are just they're just messing with you at that point you know <laughs> yeah and that messes with your head a little bit for sure yeah. you know he and he's so aware of what guns and abilities can do and what they can do combined right and you know like ricochet just just all the different things you don't sometimes you don't even think about um, that, that's what blows me away about way. guys like cammy is like that deep deep knowledge of the game so much that they can use anything because they know like just swapping to that gun with these perks in this build like here's where my positioning needs to be here's how i can use this to my advantage like man i can't i can't even retain that much knowledge much much less like process it and use use it so (laughs) (laughs) yeah or do you uh do you check out cami stuff cool guy what's your perspective being a excellent crucible player so actually cammy and i are really good friends man we um he was originally on xbox right so okay when i had about four thousand subscribers he had about two thousand he came to me one day and said hey we we're we're like the only two people that make content on xbox so i mean we played every day for two years straight on xbox and he moved to pc we still talk right when i go to guardian con i stay with him he's as Very advertised cool. he is a fantastic person Mm-hmm. And he knows his stuff. He's a min-max. Like, we used to, like, with Bad Juju, like, all, like, the little bugs, we would spawn in with our gunslingers, and you throw a swarm grenade down, you could shoot with Bad Juju, <laughs> and Bad Juju, you know, remember when you got kills, they give you super energy, you shoot all your swarms, you'd have your super. Like, we do things like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's I'm a, so well, happy a good for time him. to have you on, man. Uh, I didn't so realize you guys him. were such close yeah. friends. Yeah. yeah well, cool. congrats to Cammy. Definitely go check out his... Um, his community spotlight here. I love the uh, personality that he put into his interview here, where he's you know answering the questions and stuff. That's not an easy. He thing had good do. answers too. Yeah, yeah. On like the forge, yeah. solid. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I just remember too. I was talking about his thumbnails. One of his recent uploads, he had the cold heart, and he had like a screen from. Um, Oh, was it Bat- is it Batman? Is it Batman Forever? Mr. Freeze? Yeah, Mr. Freeze. And it's like a screen grab of him like holding a little cold heart in his hand. <laughs> they're just they're so good, dude. That's great. They're just they're so good. Stick um, around. <laughs> you had to freeze, not to lead. Um yeah, those none of those were the correct Arnold meme to use in this situation. Hey, it works. All right. That was the news, I think. That is all the news. There was a patch. I think the only thing they really did in the patch this week was um, made the adjustment to Prime and Gram uh, mm-hmm. drops for Guardians under 600, so they should drop with more powerful loot for you. And I think that was all. Oh, oh, there was a thing in the Bungie store. This is worth mentioning, because I always talk about Bungie swag. Um, there's a special that they're running in the Bungie store with, they have like three little pack bundles that you can buy. Um, there's a Bungie bundle with a bag, a hat, a t-shirt, and a mug for $69.99. Vanguard bundle, and then a Cade 6 bundle. That one's sold out. Um, so you, they bundle this stuff up, you get a little better deal. Uh, but they're doing a contest, I think, through Christmas, where if you retweet every day, um, you get entered to win one of these bundles. Go to the Bungie, the Bungie Store Twitter. It's, I think it's at Bungie Store uh, for more details. Check that out. Cool. That's all. Very nice. Well, that is the news, like Cyborg said. And with that, we get to uh, a favorite segment of the show. Cool guy. How was your reset, buddy? 
a lot of grinding, man. I've been in that <laughs> forge. I'm going to go fanning like every day. Just, uh, I want to try to do the new raid layer this week in the new raid. I'm at like 630. I think that should be decent enough because I have a couple friends that are, oh yeah, you know, 645 ish. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I plan to do it this week and hopefully I can. Uh, did I get any new exotics? I don't think so. No, I, I got the black talon recently. I that too. thing's been, that oh, thing's pretty fun. So much fun. Things really fun. Yep. Dude, everybody's been getting black talon this week. Everybody I know, we're like, I got black talent this week. There's something. I got mine from just a random public Something's event on Mars. Up. It's the best kind of public event. Yes. Sorry, yes, I interrupted yes. you. You were saying. No, it's just, uh, what was it in Destiny 1? Boltcaster. Yes. Like, that oh, took, yeah. like, a, a very long animation to get it going. This one's, like, you throw out two of them, like, in a second. Yeah, it's fast. Awesome. It's definitely it uses, fast. like, three or four of the, the mag, though, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, um, it's fun though, especially as a Titan who doesn't really have much stuff like that uh, in ability tree or anything crazy. Um, it's cool to be able to throw that void sword. Yeah, I know a lot of people um, like it a lot for Gambit. I haven't quite got the hang of it in Gambit personally, um, mm-hmm. but I've definitely been killed by it in Gambit. <laughs> So it's it's a it's a fun little gun or a fun little sword, not even a gun. What uh, cool guy? What are you? I mean, you're obviously grinding PVE to get that light. Uh, I almost said light level. It's been a while. That power level up. Have you like what are you? What are you chasing? What pinnacle weapons? Like what uh, outside of the crucible and in the crucible? Like what are you? What are you going? So for? honestly, I just I play a lot to play because I genuinely like the game. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I play a lot of crucible. I play a lot solo. Um, I have the breakneck. I have loaded question. I haven't started mountaintop yet. I want to get some other things in line first. There's a lot of things to cover in the game, I'm trying to get all the mods, things like that. Most of the time, um, I'm, I'll jump in with friends because usually I'll be editing or doing something and, uh, like, hey, you know, let's do a nightfall. So I'll go and do that real quick. So I'll get, you know, my, my powerful Ingram from that. And, but most of the time I just go in, just playing a lot of crucible, 6v6 yeah. quick play. You do enjoy the PVE side of the game though, even being a heavy crucible player? You like oh to yeah, spend some time I do. Yeah. I do. Um, where a lot of people will play the strikes and the strike playlist a lot, I just do it in, in the Crucible. Very cool. Well, we're going to ask you specifically about the loaded question, breakneck uh, coming up with the speak pipe we have here in a minute. Sure. Um, but is are there any other uh, other weapons favorites you have right now that you just can't put down for uh, let's let's just say Crucible. Um, I'm looking for Queen's Breaker still, but, oh, uh, the really? weapons oh, that I've been using, I'm, I've, Chaperone's my number one kinetic right now when I run a shotgun. Um, the Kindled Orchid, the, the new GoFan and Forge Man is so, so good. Mm-hmm. Um, it's range stat gets really, really high. One of the highest ranged hand cannons in the game, especially in the energy category. So I've been using that a lot. Um, I got a new nightshade, right? So there was the bounty, but oh, yeah. it can also, yeah. it can also drop from Shacks as a random roll. And I got a moving target kill clip one. Ooh. Um, and then I got uh, something similar. It's a kill clip something, but, uh, it's been doing really, really well. But, uh, mostly I've just been, I've been using hand cannons, trying different ones. I want that yeah. criminal's dagger when it comes. So do you have any but, issues putting down your, your Luna? You have not forgotten to as well. I, I never went with it. No, oh, I, I got it. Okay. Nope. Well, because I, I play with um, I play with two players a lot in competitive or four. I never really went in solo. Yeah. But once my friends got their Luna's how they were like done. If that mm-hmm. makes sense. Like yeah, you know, they didn't want to continue anymore because it's a pretty stressful situation. So I just I mean it doesn't really matter to me, and I don't use Luna too too much anymore. I mean it's a great great weapon. If I wanted yeah. to, I I mean I would do really really well with it. Um, but you know, it's, that's not really what it's all about to me. Right. If yeah, that makes definitely. sense. Yeah. And I was curious if you, um, I mean, cause with stuff like that, uh, new hand cannon, like you just mentioned in the forges, um, it's mm-hmm. nice to have a reason. Cause like you said, they are pretty potent hand cannons. Um, I'm glad to see some other hand legendary hand cannons, um, kind of come up to speed with them and be, you know, of course, trust and stuff. There's still decent options. It's not that yeah. you can't use those if someone has Luna, um, or not forgotten, but you know, it's just, it's again, cool to see kill clip and rampage, uh, even be possible on a hand cannon, right? <laughs> yeah. Really, really cool. <laughs> yeah. That's good stuff. Well, cool, man. Um, we'll get into here in just a few minutes. We'll get into some more specifics on the sandbox with you. And like I said, some specific questions, but, uh, cyborg, what have you been up to dude? Man, I just, 
you know, jumped right into the reset trying to do as many, I guess, challenges and powerful mm-hmm. things as I could. Um, so far, you know, just I did I did a little bit of the forge stuff. I got um, the new hand cannon. It's pretty fun. Got a decent roll on it. Kindled Orchid. Uh, I got Outlaw and Rampage. I don't think I can complain about that mm-hmm. with uh, that range masterwork on it. So I think it could be turn out to be a pretty good little energy nice. hand cannon. Um, yeah. I'm a big fan of the Duke, though. Like, that's the only hand cannon I Dude. really... Yes. I have three of those sitting in my vault with Kill Clip, man. Yeah. I like that thing. <laughs> I've got one I like a lot. I have the two that I want, man. Rapid Hit Rampage, and I have one that's Rapid Hit Kill Clip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've it's got a Outlaw Rampage I like a lot for PvE. Because um, it just keeps you... Just keeps yeah, you, I ended keeps up keeps you moving. using that that mixed with um oh the crimson to to finish off my luna quest i was oh, like yeah, i need yeah. something potent <laughs> that That'll kill clip duke was, was that's worth i did it. the that's i used the duke for that um uh, precision and cannon kill part of the uh um ace of spades quest oh yeah and that mm-hmm. was i was trying a few different things i swapped it. i was like oh yeah this feels good this feels good i can do this <laughs> didn't take long um, but yeah, just doing that, we ran a last wish, um, and I, I got one thing I, I did need cause I could not get the dad gun bow to drop. And so I got the, the bow to drop the last wish bow to drop with oh, yeah. the, uh, the curated roll on it. So I was happy about that. I needed Very that. Nice. I just need, I think I just need the, um, thousand voices and I think maybe the sparrow perhaps to have all the items from there that I'll need. Um, and a lot of other triumphs for ribbon Spain, but we did work on, we did the full raid all with void. So we got one of the triumphs completed there. That was, a, I got a little tricky around uh, the Shiro Chi encounter just cause everyone was used to having that, uh, that, that uh, the rift, not the rift, you know what I'm talking about? The warlock rift. I always forget oh, what yeah. it's called. Do we, mm-hmm. Usually we're using that uh, quite a bit in the raid, and we didn't have that this run, but we worked around it, and it was fine. Um, so I did that and just, you know, just kind of just trying to pour th- I mean, I can't even in a couple, two, three nights, I can't even finish all the challenges on one character, much less two or even three. So there's so much to do. You really have to pick your where you spend your time and what you're trying to achieve you know i'm I'm just trying to power up enough to get more power to do the raid we we went into scourge of the past um last weekend for a couple couple hours over uh two couple hours over each night over the weekend and we got to the i guess i would call it the third encounter it's one of them is like not a boss but it's it's a section right so let's say we got to the third section of the raid and then somebody had to get off and uh so we're planning to run a another take another shot at it this weekend and so i've just been trying to get my titan with more power so that he's like i'm at 632 now so that's definitely a more reasonable power level because we went in i was uh I want to say I was like six eleven when we started. Yeah, I was wondering night. how your experience was. Yeah, yeah, we went in the first night. Everybody was definitely underpowered. We figured out how to do the first encounter, but we're like, you know, everybody's so underpowered that we're getting killed by, like, not even the. It, it wasn't even the mechanics or even like certain ads. It would just be like, you had these vandal snipers. In certain parts of it that will if you're at a certain power they'll just one shot you like they just, if they mm-hmm. get a shot you're done and it was getting so frustrating because of that that we were like you know why don't we just come back tomorrow let everybody do a little more grind maybe get up you know to the next delta and it'll be a little better so we did that and came back the next night and everybody was i think above i want to say above 616 and so we got through it um just because we had a little bit better edge. And then we got through the next encounter and then got to the following one. We, I think we still could have done that one. We just ran out of time because uh, people were having to get off for uh, 
just because they knew they had to get up for church the next day and stuff like that. Or like, I can't, I can't be on here past 3 a.m. So, um, it's really just been more of a time thing. So I'm hoping this weekend, you know, we'll have more time because we've gotten at least the first half of it finished. But what I do like about it, so that the raid starts off, you're at 640 recommended. And I was like, oh God, like, that's kind of scary. But the first couple encounters, without spoiling too much, like besides what I mentioned, they're not as punishing on that Delta as the beginning of Last Wish was. Like, if you really have it together, if you're at 611 or 616, like, you can do it. You can get through there um, and at least get through some of the raid and you'll get a couple drops and those will help. And so while I'm not as happy about the, the recommendation, like the Delta being that high at the start, the way they designed it doesn't make it as punishing. And so we were able at least like in contrast to last wish, we we're able at least to get through some of it. And so I was happy about that. Like we made some progress and it, and it wasn't anything, but just our time investment that kept us from getting farther and, I'm, I'm totally cool with that, you know? So I, I've been impressed so far. And I, like, I like what we've seen in the raid. Um, it's a really cool setting. It's, it's different than anything we've seen in a while. So I'm excited to get to the, to the last boss and see what that's like and finish it out. It, it is a bit Thank discouraging you. though. When you see on the first weekend that people are beating it in less than 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I'm sure. Oh man, it's it's hard to be like a a major PVE player and just have people that are that much better than you, but you know, it is what it is. Like I'm old, I'll deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> but that was my Not reset. That That's kind of what I've gotten into and I'm just continuing to try to uh to power up and there's just so many so many ways to do that right now. It's a little bit of a grind, but there's a ton of different things you can do that give you drops. So I, I definitely don't have any complaints there. Yeah, that's definitely for sure. That's where I've been is I didn't, it's funny cause I said this, this go around the season, I was going to jump in the crucible first and get that pinnacle weapon and then, mm-hmm. then do whatever else. But I'm not doing that. I'm not taking my own advice. I'm, I, I just want, I don't want to take as long to hit max level. Mm-hmm. So I'm doing the same thing. Like I'm jumping in and just doing all the powerful Ingram drop stuff and uh powerful rewards and uh just trying to get my my light up there a little bit quicker or my power i did it again i called it light but i did get uh two exotics this week i got uh, uh black talon like i said from public events which was cool and then i jumped over on my hunter because i've been finishing leveling up my subclasses on my alts just uh i've been knocking two things out at once i um i need edz came up this week and I needed one adventure yeah, yeah. on EDZ for my Wayfarer. So now all I need is Nessus to come up because I need one adventure. Okay. And then I need I still need the emblem from the blind well. Dude, this thing, I, I every everything everyone has told me is either they or all of their friends got the emblem in the Dreaming City from the Blind Well that yeah. you need in your destinations, um, whatever they're called. Um, what are those little know it's called in your collections anyways you to finish that collection little portion you need the emblem and then that in turn uh knocks a little tier section off of your wayfarer um title so i've been taking my alts and going in there and leveling up their subclasses Mm -hmm. while also hoping that i get this drop yeah it just will not drop for me dude i've seen speculation of like if you do all the ascendant realms or challenges, they've seen like they've seen people get it to drop. But almost everyone just says, no, it is totally RNG. Just keep doing the blind well. Tier two, tier three. That's where I've seen it drop. And dude, I'll do those. And I have a blast running blind well. But I there are certain points, and I don't know if I'm just doing it playing too much blind well. I don't get any rewards. I just get glimmer. Well, um, yeah, you're only gonna get um you're really only going to get gear from your first first like, heroic tier. right but still you can get yeah. random legendaries can't you um uh, it just surprises me how much which i'd be totally much. fine just getting glimmer 
if that emblem would drop for me. I didn't yeah. think it was going to come down to this emblem. But if Nessus drops next week for the Flashpoint, I'm just literally going to be grinding for this emblem. I would make um, sure that you are doing the Ascendant challenges like that you have done them all because I mm-hmm. didn't get mine. It, it was definitely after like six plus weeks of the Ascendant challenge. Like it, okay. there very well could be a thing where you have to have done all the Ascendant challenges because I didn't get mine until Til then kind of yeah, a I'm couple doing months that. In, I'm definitely doing that now. The only um, other time that I know of is one of my buddies got it and he definitely had done all the challenges in the past and he got it mm-hmm. from Blindwell as well. So, okay. I, I'm pretty sure there could be one ascendant challenge I haven't done. So I'm, I am going to continue to do those each week and then just grind some blind. Well, um, I'm excited though, man, I, I, the RNG aspect isn't really bothering me either. It's only a matter of time now and I'm super pumped. I went from like nine of 22, on that title to yeah. you know, like 20 of 22 in a matter Sweet. of like three or four weeks. It's been super mm-hmm. fun grinding for that title. I can't wait to get it. Um, but uh, I also got, the, like I said, on my alts, running blind well, I got the sixth coyote for the hunter. Nice. Um, there you which go. Is like, yeah, gain that second dodge. Um, <laughs> that's a that's a forsaken exotic, correct? Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, that was cool. I got two exotics and it's been a few, it's been three or four weeks since I've gotten an exotic, I think. So, oh, you know what I got this week or just the other night, the Trinity ghoul finally dropped for me. So oh, nice. That's a fun weapon. Yeah. I That's want a fun that. weapon. Yeah. I watched your videos on that one, dude. You seem to love that thing in PVP, don't you? Yeah. Oh man. It, it's well, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I mean, in that video I had three games straight. I had, we ran out of middles using the Trinity ghoul, man. Like, yeah. and I've never done that. A yeah, lot of it you was were like shooting it placement. on the wall too, right? Oh, to, you can do so many yeah. cool things with that. Yeah. Very yeah, I cool. definitely could tell. Like, I was trying to play around with how, you know, your your draw affects the mm-hmm. the spread and did, like different things like that. I was trying to kind of get the hang of, I was like, well, okay, well, what can I do with, like, there's definitely something to this. I just don't know how to do it exactly right to do some cool things. But I can see, like, especially with... And then it's got that aspect of when you get a precision kill, the next shot does arc chaining. Like, it seems like it's got a lot of thought into it, but you have to yeah. have the kind of the know-how to use it right, and it, and it could do some fun things. Uh, you guys are uh, aware of the perfect draw on bows? Yes, we've been talking about that. Yeah. yeah. He yep. was telling me about so, that. I wasn't even a, somebody. Was it you, Arrow, that was telling me about this? I wasn't even aware of yeah. it. I think we, you and I were talking about before the show. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, don't most of them have like a visual element to them, so you know when you're doing the perfect draw. Yeah, they all that? have uh, lights. They all have, um, and they'll blink. Like I think for the Trinity Ghoul, it has I think a blue light on that one. But what'll happen is is it'll kind of blink. It'll fully turn blue, mm-hmm. and like it's a half second. Like that's the perfect draw. Then it'll start blinking again. Okay. It'll do less damage. But with the Trinity Ghoul. If, if you don't even, if you do it, it looks like a full draw, but a lot of times you need it just a little bit longer because it'll sh- fan out the three arrows instead of making them shoot straight. Mm-hmm. So the Trinity Ghoul is kind of weird in that aspect. You have to wait just a little bit longer. It's like the second slowest draw time in the game behind, what is it, Wish Ender? So, yeah. Yeah. It's but fun, that makes though. sense, though, because you kind of, if you want to use it for non precision kills, like you need a little bit of a draw time to get, yeah. to get it just right, you know? Like, it even felt like I was like, man, like I'm, I'm trying to do this right, but I even feel like maybe it's, it's such a small window to be able to get it just right. Like it takes a lot of practice, but it's a cool gun. I, I think that it's not getting a good rap though. Yeah. Well, and it's cool. I mean, even in PVE, yeah, it's, it's cool, but I didn't even think about, I love, uh, one, I love bows period. And you usually get in precision hits with bows. Um, and I love the idea of because you what you were doing is you'd get that precision hit and then that kill and then you would shoot it and attach it to a wall like a lightning grenade right and you'd get that aoe damage yeah. on shoot other it guardians. on the ceiling yeah, ceiling dude. wall i love that kind of stuff in the crucible people just don't expect it right it's yep. so good um uh, well that's awesome yeah I, I i want trinity ghoul big time I'm, I'm hoping that drops for me soon but uh, yeah, anyway, still working on Wayfair. I uh, I did complete the first forge. I did get enough 
power level to to jump in and match make and do that actually sorry i did not match make we some dirt fam members jumped in together and we got the the key to unlock the the uh, exotic quest and all that good stuff i'm working on my power to to be able to attempt the next forge uh, but i did i uh i got um the malfeasance boss uh the to drop and gambit because i've decided oh, to start grinding goal. out for the breakneck yeah dude nice, um, so dude. I, I got that uh i was i solo queued and i think every it's like it's like everybody realized what boss spawned and we're like we had lost the first round and it was like okay we gotta step it up a notch yeah. <laughs> like, we gotta like we all knew without talking like we gotta make this happen um so you did so anyways like randomly match without a team and y'all yeah, finished dude. off man yep that's yep. that's the hard the totally hardest thing in the game right there. <laughs> yep, and check. Um, nice. So yeah, very cool to to have that just sitting there waiting for me to to continue through that quest. But dude, I tell you what, man, the uh, code of the missile um, Skullfort like or the Skullfort like uh, build, the build with the melee and the health region. Yeah, that I was using that when I was farming for the Osprey on the Nightfall of Strange Terrain, but that build and gambit is so up and fun. down dude up and down. it's so fun and your team the only the only thing about it is well the thing is like your team is like i feel like i'm like that titan like that they're like that dude is awesome look at all that he's killing everybody so fast it feels so cool to play that that build but at the same time i'm working towards breakneck so like i have within like one or two play sessions i have the challenging enemies defeated done and i'm only like like at eighth of the way through my auto rifle kills oh, man. <laughs> because i'm just killing everything with that those abilities and stuff um so I'm, i think i might have to like change my build to force myself to shoot my auto rifle a little bit more often <laughs> um but yeah i'm having i'm having a lot of fun with do that you, have, you uh, don't have mask yet do you no okay. i don't once you get that that's the auto rifle build right there for gambit that's very nice that makes it easy but yeah, remember I got the boots yeah, of all the yeah. tight, potent Titan exotics. I got the exotic boots. Um, but uh, anyways, yeah, that's been my reset. Actually, my uh, I was gonna mention my uh, my sons were, were like getting pretty into Legos, and I remembered I had like for us, I had like three or four boxes of the Mega Blocks still we hadn't put together. So we've been putting some of his Legos together, and I'm like, dude. We got destiny stuff too, man. So <laughs> like we started we started tearing away at the mega blocks we hadn't put together yet and setting them up in our game room. So we've been we've been that's, having that's fun awesome. with that too. Yeah, Dude, I have good stuff. probably at least five like actual sets unput not put together because I don't have anywhere yep. to put them. I know. I had to clear room off the old destiny shelf. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> But that's been my reset. Um, it's been good, man. I mean, we're talking like, you know, some of this, a little bit of this was last reset, but it's Thursday. You know, we're a couple of days in and already doing all this stuff. Um, so it's it's good times, dude. I log in, go pick up my bounties and do all that. And I look at my uh, my inventory tab and there's just nothing but bounties. And I'm like, okay, what? Actually, I don't even have to think then what I want to do because I already did it earlier that day. I made myself a checklist of the order of things I want to do when I log on. <laughs> um, and it doesn't feel like work at all, man. It just It's fun. It's like there's, again, there's so much to do. You're just excited for every play session, right? Yeah. I, so, I ran out of, it's, it's I had times. I didn't have enough room at reset to fit all the bounties that I wanted to mm-hmm. grab. I was setting on like 20, 19 or 20 of them too. I Like after I do all the powerful ones, I'll save all the other ones to be able to get my Ikora bounty like right away at reset. Mm-hmm. Um so. And Levante has some now too, so it's yeah. taking up space yes. too. Yes, yeah. yep, and the Forge. Um, I've definitely had to dismantle some bounties. Like, eh, I don't know if I'll go loot that lost sector. Yeah, pretty okay. much. Got to pick yep. and choose. And I had to wait to do the Dreaming City stuff because I couldn't fit like three, four Dreaming City bounties plus five dailies in there. Mm-hmm. So I was like, all right, I'll do yep. all this stuff. And then when I clear this out, I can pick these up, go do that. There's a lot to do. Not to yeah, keep track of. Where's my second more, page about it? Money. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so excited as these weeks go on, man. Yeah, yeah, just the layers I, and layers of content with this new structure, right? Yeah, I think the first weapon is going to be that bow. I think it's Le Monarch or Monarch. Mm-hmm. I, I, I I butchered that, <laughs> but what I'm so excited, it's it, it, you guys have looked into that because you know we brought up Trinity Ghoul. I mean, it's got those poison arrows. So yes. if you do a, a perfect draw, precision arrows, that's going to spread poison to enemies nearby. Yeah. More than anything, 
in this game right now, I want to have this bow with a chromatic fire because it's kinetic. Like I want to do oh it. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> oh lord! Yeah. I think so when you, you guys right get this that. bow that you're listening out there, if you have the chromatic fire, I think it's going to be awesome. Man, I want I need Listen chromatic cool fire. Man. I need to start running my warlock some more. <laughs> Oh, it's yeah, so that's fun. the thing too. Even thinking about alts, man. Like I actually have been, like I said, jumping over to them. Um, but wow, even attempting, it's like very specific things you want to do on your alts. Um, yeah, or, or throw them in the crucible to to run some different builds and stuff. But well, I guess with that, cool guy, we did want to get into a little bit while we got you on the show. We got to talk about the sandbox. Probably, of course, leaning more towards the crucible. Um, I mean, what? We'll throw just a real general question at you. Like, what do you think about the sandbox now? Like, what the sandbox we're playing in and the Crucible compared to, you know, the super balanced game we had with Vanilla D2 and the little bit more chaotic, potent sandbox we're in now? Like, are you enjoying it? Um, what do you think about different weapons and things of that nature and builds? I enjoy it a lot more. And, you know, and that's a 50-50. Like, some people love the way it was before. Some people love the way it is now. To me, personally, I see where they were going. It's kind of got a Halo feel. There's set roles, right? It's my battle rifle versus your battle rifle, like old school Halo. But this that isn't Destiny, right? Mm -hmm. To me, that's not Destiny. So they bring in the shotguns. They bring in different things. Now, sure, currently, like we had the worm husk not too long ago. But now things like, you know, the mask for the Titan and Nova Warp, they're kind of an issue. Um, I think it was Lab. They, they put out a tweet the other day. And it's kind of true. Like, so with the mask on the Titan... He compared it to, remember when Prometheus Lens was broken? Mm -hmm. And it was just blowing everything up in the Crucible. He goes, it was, he goes, the mask now is like the lens back then when you didn't have it. It's just so unfair. So there's things they can, they can kind of tighten up, but I love that they increase the critical damage. That way with hand cannons, you get three shot kill. Like the high impact scouts, Polaris Lance, or they're, it's really, really good right now. You know, it can mm -hmm. three shot to the head. Um, they're doing a great job in every single thing as we go forward. And they're talking about, you know, late January, adjusting some of the old subclasses. Now, that's not just for the, you know, that's the entire game. Like the bottom, uh, what is it? The Mobius tether? I forget what it's called, but the bottom tether yeah. tree needs a lot of help, man. There's, um, the, the, the other Titan hammer bro tree. I think that one needs a lot of help too. Yeah, so I can't wait to see what, what, what it all brings. Yeah. I'm pumped about those, uh, updates to the, the old subclasses we were talking about that last week um yeah it definitely seems like like you have to acknowledge with vanilla d2 like the accomplishment there right like for the game destiny is and all the different abilities and weapons and things of that nature like the fact that they balanced the game as well as they did was just remarkable um but like you yeah. said and as they found out um it's not it's not that it was i mean it was excellent it was i mean it was an accomplishment it was awesome but like you said, it's destiny, you know, and we want that power fantasy. And they definitely, they definitely have learned that and we learned it with them. And now we've got a more potent chaotic crucible thing. Some things might seem a little broken. They're not quick to nerf things anymore. I do feel yeah. like, you know, I wonder if they are a little more gun shy um, on some things, maybe that do need a little more attention a little quicker. <laughs> but like you said, it's, it's better the way it is right now, just because it's, it's it's fun. It's chaotic. There's crazy builds. There's things you can do, and it's it just creates more excitement, right? It's not just a, um, you know, I don't know how to say. It. It's not that it's the same thing in and out. It's just that there's there's always things to explore and, and learn and things to try, right? So it's absolutely it's fun. Yeah, it's it's good. Do you think? Do you, would you make any adjustments to ammo economy right now? They, I know they they did mention the TWAB last week. The one thing that I, I really did want to see, I wanted to see longer timers on power ammo just because there's so many powerful options in the Crucible right now. I, playing, I felt like power was coming up too quickly and too often. Um, yes, what do they you are think, changing it. Yeah, what do you think about that change? And then in turn, what do you think about the amount with certain builds and perks that you can spec into? How do you feel about the power ammo change and how do you feel about shotgun ammo economy right now not green just specifically shotgun ammo um what do you mean specifically shotgun now? like not like specifically like how where much? shotguns are right i'm now? curious how you feel about how to me and i won't say that i i don't necessarily want it changed i but i do feel like it's not difficult to get 
quite a bit of shotgun ammo fast. It's not. You're right? correct. And how do you feel about that? Do you think it promotes the... Uh, we talked about this with Murky Lees a bit when he was on. He he had mentioned it kind of promotes to the fact that no matter what, you get two on spawn. A again, this is specifically shotgun. This isn't just green across the board because it's a little, of course, different with snipers and fusions. But when you spawn, you get two. So it kind of promotes that run in, shoot. Even if you trade, it's okay. You're getting two more shots. And then there's the layer of... You get two kills. I love the mechanic of you are rewarded for winning the engagement. Therefore, you mm -hmm. get more ammo. I just wonder if you get too much. So I guess two layers there. How do you feel about how much you get and how easy it is to get easy with air quotes because you do have to get a kill? Um, I mean, it's like before you know it, you have, you know, four, five, six shells. Um, and then the, the other layer is how do you feel about, you know, always spawning with it? One of his suggestions was maybe if... If you die, you get you get half of what you had. Uh, so, for example, you would get you would always get one shotgun shell instead of two. And then, of course, um, would you decrease the amount you get per kill, maybe by a shell or two, a shot or two? What do you think? It's a weird line. It's a, it's such a weird line because that that was a really good suggestion in Destiny One as well, right? Um, mm -hmm. But then what what ended up happening is everyone switched to the wormwood, and yep. the wormwood was fairly dominant. And currently, right now. The sidearms are really good. I mean, yeah. if you were to pull out a sidearm right now, you'd do well. Um, so they're, it's easily bypassed. What they're trying to do is like, yeah, you know, you get two shots, but I mean, and you keep telling me we'll talk about loaded question later. Um, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's very easy to get that perk going with chaperone. I've, when I go on streaks, I'll have 17 shots at it. Yeah. Um, I mean, so it, it's not as bad or, or, or it, it's not, that bad to get that much ammo it's really not because when you think about it you spawn and sometimes there's bricks on the ground right if you're mm -hmm. running two scavenger perks that give three apiece you have eight shots now okay and then you go to your first engagement and your teammate dies next to you and you kill the opponent that killed him well you pick up your teammate's brick you go pill pick up the brick that you know that's six more so mm -hmm. I, I mean there's also the question remember special ammo crates Remember those? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, do yeah. we bring those back? Maybe yeah. on on snipers and shotguns, start off with six, right? Make make the starting ammo up, but make sure or, or make multiple special ammo areas around the map to keep you going. Um, but we see how, you know, to go kind of segue into power ammo, it can't be too fast, right? Because what will happen, especially in competitive, is you'll get snowballed, right? Mm -hmm. It kind of happens right now if you have a full team. And you're just constantly giving, getting them off spawn and they can't do anything. You're taking their special ammo. Um, there comes a point to where that guy's going to have none and you're going to have it all, right? Yeah, right. Um, absolutely, it needed to happen for the heavy ammo, right? And maybe switch some of the spots. I mean, but that's here nor there. Um, but a, a lot of my friends play a lot of competitive and I jump in there when I can. I haven't started Mountaintop, but it was the same last season. Um, you'll get in there and someone, especially in like survival, Right. Even though it spawns once, they'll get a lot, but they'll get the other one when it comes up. Right. Mm -hmm. And you can't you literally can't do anything about some of it. Like you can't do anything um, about uh, Queen's, Queen's Breaker is very strong. I don't know if you get you guys play Gambit, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I do have <laughs> if, it. I just it, I haven't used it a ton. Yeah. If, if someone looks at you, you're down. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. The So um, assist, it, it's yeah. It, it's such a hard road. And say you were say I got 17 shots on my chaperone, but I die. Should it? Should I spawn with nine, eight? So it, it's kind of a weird road. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there, and there's, uh, again, it's, uh, I've said this phrase so many times the last few weeks, it's such a delicate balance because you, what we saw, like you said, what happened in Destiny 1 was special. Like it got to a point where you just didn't have any. Um, and we definitely don't want that back. And then at the same time, you know, all we heard a lot in Destiny 1 from many Crucible Guardians is what we wanted more primary engagements. So yes, now we're in a Crucible where there are a lot more options not necessarily more potent. Some cases, yes. Some cases, not. But where you're not really using a, a quote-unquote primary weapon. So then it becomes a balance of, okay, we don't want to do what we did in Destiny 1, but we, okay, maybe they are getting power ammo too much, or maybe they are getting shotgun ammo a little bit too much. What do we do? And then, you know, it's, uh, again, a balance. If they do too much, then before we know it, we're not using shotguns anymore. So, you know, it's like, where do you... How do you figure it out? Where do you draw the line? I mean, obviously they're play testing that kind of stuff. It's shotguns are a particular thing I wanted to talk to you about because sure. you can it's not that they're 
I mean, there's a lot of shotguns in competitive. I mean, it's mm -hmm. it's old school hand cannon shotgun, right? And I just I wonder if you do there's there's a little bit of an area there where you are rewarded a with the current mechanic a bit much um, to promote you know other kinds of gameplay. And you're definitely right on the snowball effect. No matter what they do. Destiny is going to have a snowball effect because we have supers. We get ener yeah. we get super energy on kills. That's another thing uh, one of my fire team members has mentioned before. I think it's a good idea. It's interesting in the crucible that you get super energy off kills, right? So um, obviously you get that in PVE. Um, but you know that's that's a mechanic. No matter what you do, there's going to be a snowball effect. But how many different aspects of the game aid? To that snowball mechanic so i don't know man it's it's uh if not i said this before if nothing changed in the crucible right now ever again i'd be totally fine with it because i'm having a blast it'd like, be all right yeah it's yeah. it's super fun right now but of course as players of the game we play it often like there's always little things we notice and and things of that nature and the power ammo is definitely a definitely a big one for me um, i'm super glad to see those timers increased on those a bit just to at least promote things other than than those power weapons and those ward cliffs and those wing breakers and stuff like that but uh anyways overall man you're i mean you're enjoying it if, my, if it never yeah. changed you you'd be cool with it you you like it you're digging it my deal and i'll be completely you know obviously i don't know anything about i'm just a player of the game since destiny one like in my opinion like True balance in PvP, like they'll bump this perk, they'll put it down. True balance revolves around effective range. Mm -hmm. If they were to get effective range for every single weapon, because the issue was that you could be across map with Thorn, like on what is it? Um, we'll pick a weird like um, Widow's Court, Twilight Gap, Widow's Court, right? You could be sixty meters away, and that thing will do half damage, like pre-nerf anything. I would and I would combat you could shoot a with, pulse with Thorn. Yeah, you could. <laughs> you absolutely could, right? So that's an effective range issue. So they uh, they nerfed them pretty bad. And then they added Bloom. And if you look at PC, there are things in PC. We talked about Titan skating and macros, and um, there's no Bloom on PC with a hand cannon, right? So they put it in the game as kind of a balancing thing because hand cams could be dominant, right? Especially mm -hmm. on console if you have a good shot. Um, but, you know, you have these ghost bullets. I feel that if you kind of remove that bloom and just made it pure effective range, right? Damage fall off. Um, I think that would be a lot better than having... Because I've never been a fan of shooting at something I'm perfectly aiming at and it not hit. Like, that's one of the worst feelings in gaming for me. Mm -hmm. And it happens in... A, it's not just Destiny. It's a couple other games. But, you know, if they were to get SMGs, everything have just a perfect effective range with perfect fall off. I think that's where true balance starts. Mm -hmm. so yeah sorry <laughs> no that's that's a good point man and you know it's like i keep mentioning shotguns I don't, I don't have like this crazy beef with shotguns there's there's like you mentioned sidearms um there's plenty of things to counter shotgunners and then you know it all boils down to you recognizing what you're doing as a player the mistakes you're making in your decisions and your engagements and things like that you know if you're getting killed by shotguns you know just try to stay back in the lanes and do this or that. Or if you're using a shotgun, just get on your shot a little bit more and work on that. But, uh, sure. um, you know, it's, again, a delicate balance. And I got to say, man, like, there's there's enough to counter everything in the Crucible right now that it is overall, it's it's such a good time right now. And there's sure. so many You can go builds. in with a number of things yeah. and do well. It's not just grab Lance or Bust. Right? <laughs> yeah, you remember back in the day when it was like, you knew, well, that like you guys just mentioned Thorn and things like that. You knew when you loaded into a round of trials what you were going to see. Like, you know, final round sniper or Thorn or a, um, this or that. But uh, oh, that reminds me too. I got to ask you: Are you a were you a last word user? Are you excited that we looks like we're getting? I oh, am. We are getting. Last I'm very word. excited. Yeah. Now the perk is going to work a little bit differently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I'm okay with that. Um, it just depends, right? The whole deal with the last word, why it was so good, is it will shut down somebody mindlessly running at you, right? <laughs> That's what was so good about the last word. Speaking and that's why a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. So, in, in, you know, with the shotgun rushers, it, it's always going to be in the game. And uh, I always tell a lot of my viewers that when you shut those guys down, you're going to have better games. Like a game within the game is shutting those players down. You're going to have way better KD. Everything's going to go up. 
if you can figure out how to do that. And a lot of those guys um, are very predictable. They do the same thing over and over. They do the same jump. Like the same Titans will do a double burst at you. It's the same thing over and over and over. So like once you figure them out, what you need to do, um, you're going to have a lot better games. Mm-hmm. Yep. No, that's a, that's a good point, man. I can't wait to, uh, specifically for the last word, I can't wait to get it back and see. Of course, it's uh, kinetic, I believe, of course, again. And I'm I'm really interested to see how it feels and uh, see what kind of build. I mean, obviously, last word, sniper, um, is going to be fun again. Uh, but yeah, yeah, dude, there's just there's so much to jump into the Crucible and play with. Um, well, and speaking of that, we'll actually roll right in to our good old Dirt Fam Discourse section. We've got a speak pipe from our buddy Better Off Blue, and he's got uh, some opinions on a couple specific weapons here that we wanted to get your opinion on. Um, so sure. if it sounds good, we'll roll right into that speak pipe and give it a listen. Hey, Arrow. Hey, Cyborg. It's Better Off Blue. I thought I'd just kind of check in really quick because I have a little experience with some new weapons that I wanted to share. Uh, I have gotten both the loaded question and the breakneck, and I wanted to share some insights. Uh, the loaded question I got first took two days to get. Lots of grinding, real tough. Uh, not tough, easy, just a lot of time investment, and not a huge fan of it. Basically, the only time I find it's worth using is in the first encounter of the Last Wish raid. When you come out of the doors and all those Thrall or Taken Thrall are in the middle, you can knock them all out without wasting a grenade or a super or anything, which is nice, but then you're not using something like uh, the Icolos shotgun that it's got a little bit more uh, functionality in that part of the raid, in my opinion. But the Breakneck, holy cow, the Breakneck has quickly become my favorite primary or kinetic weapon and now with the Black Armory mods, I've added a Rampage mod onto it, and it is unstoppable. It is easily my new favorite kinetic weapon. I just hit 650 tonight, and it was the I just infused it all the way up. I don't know how many cores I used to do that, but I crushed them. So uh, it, it was worth it. Get the breakneck. Even if you're not a huge fan of Gambit, put the time in. It's worth it. Thanks so much for putting on an awesome show, guys. Derp fam, thanks for being so receptive of me a couple weeks ago. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time. Blue, thanks for the speak pipe, buddy. It's funny, Blue, almost like every other week, he's like, what, did y'all record yet? I'm like, uh, yeah, no. He's like, oh, man, oh, God, I was going to send a speak pipe. Like, oh, man. I was like, we'll send it next week, and he finally sent one. So <laughs> he's talking about something he wanted to chime in on i know he uh he jumped in really soon like seriously in like the first day or two he grind these two weapons out um i want to say so i was interested to see what he had to say because i have not finished these quests and uh, i think uh from a lot of folks we've heard from unloaded questions so far um seems like a fun gun but just not quite there um which, you know, very specific. Yeah. And it seemed like a lot of people almost predicted that. And I hate to say like it was expected, but it just didn't quite resonate as far as what they were trying to do. when they introduced it. Now, breakneck sounded amazing. Looked amazing. Looks like that's the case. I have like 10 to 14 gambit matches left and I'll have it. So that's a very specific number. It's somewhere in there. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the yeah, game matches are so long right yeah. now it takes yeah. some time you know that's a time investment for um you know what is it 40 gambit matches you know that can be many hours so i'm i'm getting mm-hmm. there getting there but yeah yeah what do you guys think about these weapons yeah i'm actually working on both of them just this, starting this reset um i ran some strikes quite a few and uh i love i love that like i i go look at what i need to do for the quest and i get stuff out of my vault i get a very specific build and i go do that activity for a while like i really enjoy that so i'm using fusions and i don't use fusions a lot i like them i just i don't get them out for some reason and it's it's giving me that opportunity to use them and and maybe want to start using them more like even in the crucible um and i even started tearing away at breakneck like i had mentioned um but i don't have either so i can't say i've just watched reviews from this guy right here like cool guy so um you tell us dude because i know uh we've seen that you did a review on loaded question you haven't done one on breakneck yet but what do you think about these two um how do you feel about them 
so I'm going to start off with breakneck. Um, I love it. So for those two together, breakneck loaded question, every activity I've done since I've gotten them, I've done with those, right? All the forges I do it with. Um, did last wish a couple days ago. And when I go into this new raid layer, I'm going to be using those. Now breakneck, I haven't really, I have a lot of it set, but I need to, I need the rampage mod to see because there's two things that happen with breakneck. You generally are going to want a minor mod on it. Right, because you can just go and shred from add to add to add, because that's what it's for. That's mm -hmm. exactly what it's for, and you don't have to be accurate with it. Right, that's kind of the best part. You get rampage one going, and you just start spraying things down. Doesn't matter where you aim, right? Um, but it, it's going to be different with the rampage mod because you get that extra second. If it's going to be worth taking off the minor mod, right? So I'll have to look at damage and what's really going on with how much it takes to kill an add. Right, so it's up to bait whether you want the rampage or minor, but it's fantastic, man. Yeah, um, I don't cool. run auto rifle reserves on it at all because I, I'm, I'm finding ammo. Right, um, it's really good for what it does. It only has one job, and it does it very, very well. Now, as far as loaded question, man, like it, I did the review, it's like 15 minutes long, and uh, I really, really like it. And uh, the gist of it is, when you think of this, it has ionized battery, which is a horrible perk because it brings the magazine to seven. And Reservoir Burst, the final perk, is when you have seven rounds chambered, you get a big burst, and it also does Firefly. So there's a couple of issues with that. Now, it also has auto-loading holster. The, the Reservoir Burst itself does 33% more damage. And I tell people to think about that as old-school reactive reload and kill clip, because that's what it is. It's basically kill clip on your uh, fusion rifle and with the benefit of Firefly. So you can use it a number of different ways, but the main thing, wherever you're using it, is to spec for scavenger or reserves, fusion rifle scavenger or reserves. That, that, that's my main takeaway with it, because mm -hmm. you'll either have seven and nine, seven, you know, chambered and then nine reserved, or you'll go up to 22, which is seven and 15, right? So you can just auto-loading holster 15 shots. Like, that's a lot better than nine, if that makes sense. And, of course, you're getting special ammo as you go and go and go. And in the Crucible, same thing. If you don't put on Scavenger perks, you're never going to get Reservoir Burst to proc. Like, ever. You're going to have to pick up five bricks because you pick up one at a time starting off spawn. Um, if you do Fusion Rifle Scavenger times two, you get, you know, three per brick. So you just need two, then you have it going. And in the video, I mean, I had a 15 streak of just Reservoir Burst straight you know, deleting my opponents and we ran out of medals. And there's a lot of gameplay in that of just me using that burst over and over and over because what that burst is, it's like 460 total damage. Like anything in its path, it downs. Um, it's, it's a three burst kill. It does, I think, 64 per bolt. So three or four, depending on, you know, the resilience. And a lot of people say, well, the Arental, which is a high impact, which is a very good fusion rifle, you know, is just as good, which, yeah, if you're if you're not getting the bricks, if you're not setting yourself up for success with the uh, loaded question, then, yeah, the Arental is 110 percent better. There's no question asked. But once you start getting Reservoir Burst going wherever you are, that's where you need to be. And it isn't for a real big boss DPS. That's where you're um, I forget the name of the new kinetic trench barrel shotgun. Um, or, you know, threat of course, the eye glows. Yeah, threat level. It? Threat level. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not a threat level. It's not a whisper of the worm. It's nothing like that. It's for burst ad clearing. And that's exactly what you use it for. You pull it out and you pick out the weak link that's in the group. Um, I put a major mod on mine and that's what I, I recommend because especially in the forge, you one shot a lot of the enemies. Mm -hmm. But if they're coming at you, what you'll do is you'll pick out the thrall, kill him, and that guarantees the explosion. It'll take out all the thralls around and do the firefly damage to the major. And generally most of the time it's, an, it's, or most of the time it's enough damage that once you shoot the shot again without reservoir burst, you'll kill him because you have the major mod on. I think it's a fantastic weapon. Um, but I think, for that, for it to do well, you have to set yourself up for success. Mm -hmm. If you don't, it's a worthless weapon. It, it really is. The rental's better, right? Yeah. So it seems like that a lot yeah. with the pinnacle weapons. I think we even mentioned it earlier in the show. It's it's very specific in what it's what it can do, and like you said, it's a good way to put it. Set yourself up for success. You have to know what that is that it's trying to do and build build your build around it. Um, to be able to do it, you know, 100% successful, right? So Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I, I personally love yeah. it. I personally love it to death. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it seems, I can't, I, I do, I am going to try and get both it and breakneck, but I definitely have my eyes set on breakneck because I've mentioned many times I love auto rifles and PVE. 
Um, and I just, I want it. I've been using the uh, Festival of the Lost auto. I just really enjoy that in PvE. It's just a fun horror weapon. story. Yeah. yeah, with Rampage and stuff. And uh, I, I want Breakneck. <laughs> I want to, I want to put it, swap it into in my auto rifle. I have a few auto rifles that I enjoy. I, I always loved the the old Scaife Lock too, and back in Vanilla D1, so or D2. So, anyways, yeah, well, cool, man. That's uh, it's a good time to have you on to talk about these pinnacle weapons. It's interesting sure. to hear all that detail about one or two weapons. Some things myself and maybe many guardians don't even think about at certain points. Very cool. Yep. Thanks for the insight, sir. Oh, you're welcome, man. I appreciate <laughs> you guys having me on. Of course. And the breakneck, they did a true disservice in the Crucible, man. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that. I mean, it, the, the the damage scales down after you get your first Rampage stack. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, with all the things in the game, we have a kill clip, high impact sniper rifle. You need you need the breakneck to perform. Right. <laughs> Agreed. Well, Blue, thanks for the speak pipe, man. Uh, we appreciate yeah. that. Yep, sounds like he's having a good time in, the, in Destiny, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> he's excited oh, he's in that speed pretty fight. pretty deep in the grind again. Yeah. Um, we'll have him back on when you're on. Y'all can catch up. Yes, definitely. All right, well, if you want to send us some Dirt Fam Discourse, if you want to send a speak pipe like Blue here, you can go to speakpipe.com slash Destiny Reset, or you can send us an email, destinyresetpodcast at gmail.com. Uh, now this time of the show where normally we would have some patron shout-outs, we don't have any new patrons this week. But if you'd like to know what that is, go to patreon.com slash destiny reset, where, where for as little as a dollar a month, you can support the production budget of our show. You get a few rewards. You get a shout out on the podcast. You get a gamer tag, uh, your gamer tag posted on our website and an invitation to a discord channel just for dirt fan patrons and supporters, where you get to find out what arrow eats for lunch every day. Uh, <laughs> and occasionally talk to me about PVE stuff. If yeah, that's what you're into. Um, if you want. We do actually have three Guardians pending out there with messages. So if you are a yeah. Dirt Fan patron, go check your Patreon messages, guys. Yep. We like your gamer tag so we don't dox you, if that's okay yes. with you. <laughs> um, I think that's it. Uh, why don't we tell people where they can find us? Arrow, where can people find you? You guys can find me on Twitter and YouTube primarily and all the other social media places at Arrow Knight with a zero. What about you, Cyborg? Awesome. You can find me at Cyborg Sasquatch on Twitter and Mixer. Finally, you can find us at Destiny Reset on the Twitters and then on the web at www.destinyresetpodcast.com. That's your source for all things DRP. Uh, why don't you tell them again, cool guy, where people can find you, man? Sure. Uh, mostly on YouTube. It's youtube.com backslash cool guy tips. On Twitter at I am cool guy YT and Twitch TV. We'll get that started after the first. It is I underscore am underscore cool guy. That's for Twitch. Very nice. Perfect. You guys, you got to go check out his channel if you don't already. It's fantastic content. And if you enjoy it, which I'm sure you will, tweet at him and tell him, because I bet you will agree with me. The, the radio voice and, and live comm skills this guy has. I'm telling you, uh, you got to let him know. Um, it's, it's, it's so fun to watch, but thanks for coming on so much, dude. Um, we will be glad to have you anytime, especially to talk crucible and fit in that, that PVP chatter. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me guys. Fantastic. I, I had a great time. Yeah. yeah our pleasure. Cool. We're glad. We're just you. glad we got somebody to talk, uh, crucible with. You don't have to hear about the raid. <laughs> Cyborg used to dabble in it more. Stuff. He's he hasn't been much these days. There's so much to do on the PVE side. His his crucible plays hit the back burner. Yep, <laughs> it's, it's right. understandable though, man. Yep. We give a shout out for our new iTunes review. No, I forgot. Um, if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, please leave us a review. Shout out to MDS A Pro Sailor. Thanks for the uh, <laughs> review about. Calling grapes i'm not gonna repeat what he said but it was pretty still rainy. counted as five stars so i'll take it yes thank you guardian very cool well again cool guy thanks so much i'm sure our listeners very much enjoyed it and uh i'm gonna go play some destiny i don't know about you guys I'm gonna stay up that's where i'm going yep stay up a little while longer it is it's only almost one we got at least a couple more hours of play right guys oh yeah at least <laughs> at least all right, guys, until next reset, have fun playing Destiny 2, and take care, Guardians. <laughs>